Uh, the FCC has ratified unlicensed use of the 6 gigahertz radio frequency spectrum in the USA, opening up the way for the proposed Wi-Fi 6E standard. I thought that was dead in the water. It's back, baby. This is the biggest spectrum addition since the FCC cleared the way for Wi-Fi in 1989. This is a big deal. Um, so 6 gigahertz is, as you can probably tell from the name, uh, a little bit higher than 5 gigahertz. So that means we're expecting a little bit less range, but a little bit more data throughput. And what's really cool is that uh, it is a big, big chunk of spectrum. So it's about the same theoretical top speed as 5 gigahertz, about 9.6 gigabit per second. Um, but I would expect to see performance improvements kind of across the board as spectrum just kind of gets less crowded. So even if you are going to stick on 5 gigahertz, if your neighbor moves to 6, your Wi-Fi is going to get noticeably faster. Um, assuming that you and your neighbor are both heavy users and you're streaming video and stuff. Like, obviously, if neither of you were really using it, it won't get much faster. Uh, industry giants Intel and Broadcom began planning for this move two years ago. Uh, Broadcom released its first Wi-Fi 6E chipset in February. Oh, wow. So this is like, oh, this is great. This is like, this is coming. Deployment should really kick off in 2021 when the Wi-Fi Alliance begins offering certifications for Wi-Fi 6E devices. I'm Jazz. More, more <laughs> Wi-Fi, more faster Wi-Fi. You know, more spectrum. Can't uh, you can't can't get me down about that. I love it.